Pretty excited this morning. I'm going to get a checkout and an introduction to the AOPA sweepstakes Grum and Tiger. Colin's here with me. Colin. Hello. You are in charge of this beautiful project. It's coming along nicely. I'm so excited to get to learn it and to meet this airplane. Tell me about it. Well, I'm super excited for you to check out in it and what a beautiful blue day, sky day we have today. But uh, today you are the PIC and you are going to have to do the walk around pre flight. Right. And I'm really here just to talk about what's different about the Tiger than, well, our Tiger in particular from other Tigers. This has got a lot of things on it that didn't roll out of the factory. Yeah. And I am a 172 and RV12 guy, so it seems like this isn't too big of a step up for me. No. But I certainly need to pay attention today and, and learn the differences between this airplane. Yeah, and, and really the biggest differences that we'll see in the pre-flight and when we're flying is we have an electrically controlled constant speed propeller from MT Propeller, and we have a, um, an electronic ignition and those two things you'll see a difference from normal aircraft. A thorough pre-flight and we were ready to taxi. That electrically adjustable pitch prop is the only really new thing to me but it makes it easy for you. The green light comes back on and that should go back to where you started which was about 1220. Taxi to runway 5 via echo. We'll try right, to green lights on. Bingo. That's that means 20. that we're able to manually control the pitch of the prop. The next thing to pay attention to is cylinder head temps on takeoff. Not a consideration I've had in a 172 or a RV12, but not a lot to manage. This Tiger gets fast quickly. All right, tracking that center line, engine's in the green. Airspeed's coming alive, there's 50. 55, whoop. Traffic. Oh, that is nose heavy. You weren't kidding. All right, so looking for 90. Well, that's getting real fast. At what point do we look for 100? Um, you can do 100 now. We're already at 417 cylinder head temperature, right, so let's trim that. down and go to 100. The Tiger likes to climb. Level flight attitude feels almost nose down, so the sight picture was the next thing to get used to. Oh, I am still climbing, aren't I? Yep. It, it, um, it's a surprisingly nose down Yes, pitch. it is. That's what I was looking for. That's about my level sight picture right about there. That feels like a descent just visually, but... That's not. No, you're, no, you're pretty much level right here. All right. So whatever it takes to trim up level. Turns are crisp and effortless, and the airplane is rigged and balanced perfectly. Uh, it's, it's very, very simple. Yeah. I mean, this is truly a two-finger airplane. Absolutely. After getting a basic feel for turns and slow flight, Colin had me explore the electronic envelope protection system. It nudges you back to what it thinks is safe if you're above 200 AGL and get slow. But time to put it all to work and make a few landings over at Carroll County Airport. I think half the fun of this airplane is getting to make radio calls that start in Grumman. All right, Carroll County traffic, Grumman 860, turning right base, runway 34, full stop, Carroll County. All right, so we're at 78, we're about where we want to be on speed. Yep, a little, right. little fast, but as soon as we, after we turn base, we'll go full flaps and you'll see the speed come right down to 70. All right, and so I'm good at 15 inches here? Yep. All right, so we're at, kind of squared off on base here. Check in 331 November Golf. Full flaps. Turn out to the west. And let's go. do RPM with this one. Full RPM. RPM full, and we're green there. Yep. All right. So we got carb heat coming on. So we're a little, little fast. We probably need a little bit of trim. Carroll County traffic. Grumman 860 turning. Final runway 34. Carroll County. All right. So there's 76. I am fast. Yeah, but you're good here. So a little, I do a little more power just to keep the stabilized approach. All right. Because it will sink now in this configuration, full sink flaps, good. it will definitely sink. All right, it's gas probably already feel it. is on full. Yeah, gas, so. undercarriage, mixture, prop, and seat belts. Let's stabilize out. 100. 76, looking for 72. We got three whites. We're being blown from the right. That's probably the stability control thing, so don't yeah. worry about it. All right, we're back on center line. There's 72. A little bit of power to avoid sink that I can feel. We're still four white. Carol, traffic number 3054, tangle B, 34, Carol. Still high. Now we're good. Right on speed. There's one red. Carol, County traffic. 72. Where do I need to bleed down to 65? Um, I think you're still, uh, you're, well, probably, eh, right about here. Yeah. All right. Yep, right about here in short final. All right, so there's 65. Pull back. Pull back. Pull. On, on power. Yeah, there you go. Power's coming off. And a, nose down a bit. Pitch down a bit. There you go. 
And the lineman. There you go. There you go. That wasn't the best landing I've ever done. No, I mean, it, the actual landing was awesome. The, and, the, and most of the approach was great. This is the fine tuning, so yeah. don't worry about it at all. This is exactly why we're doing this. All right. This is a nice flying airplane. It is. I mean, the truth is it's not very difficult to fly, right? No, no it, it, it has a lot more systems than I'm used to managing, but it's it's a logical step up for me. I, oh, absolutely. This is a perfect next airplane from the 172. Absolutely ideal. I think whoever wins this is going to have a challenge and enjoy it. Paul Europe, AOPA Live.